Takže za kopnelem Meli padáme kterým směrem a proč? Tak padáme směrem dopředu, protože překážka, která nám zabránila v pohybu, zastaví pouze nohy, ale tělo pokračuje pořád směrem dopředu. Kolo vznemeli podáme, kterým směrem a proč. Padáme dozadu, protože nohy jdou e, rychleji než tělo a tělo se tím parem překlopí dozadu. Je to vlastně o tom, když hodíme kámen někde, kde nepůsobí žádná gravitace. A otázka zní teda? Uh, jestli se ten kámen zastaví, anebo bude pokračovat stejnou rychlostí a směrem. Kdo si myslí, že A? Ruce nahoru. A kdo si myslí, že B? Tak ten kámen se nezastaví, protože na něj nepůsobí žádná síla, která by, která by ho zastavila. Dobře. Já se se pohybuje rychlostí 4 metry za sekundu, kolik síly potřebujeme, abychom ho udrželi pohybovat se touto rychlostí tímto směrem. the European Space Agency, ESA. This is the Robotic Learning Center, and I'm here to help you find out more about Newton's three laws of motion. Maybe you've heard of Newton before. SS, gravity has very little effect, so everything there is almost weightless. Hi, Pedro. That's a nice smile you've got there, Pedro. Not much is happening. The ball is just hanging there in midair. Pedro blows on it and it moves because of the force of his breath. Now the ball is moving again. Except this time Alexander has stopped it with his hand. Let's see what our schools have to show us. Pushing the skateboard. That's a force, isn't it? The skateboard moves, hits the pillar and changes direction. But the apple keeps going. Good trick. I'm sure I don't have to say, don't try this at home. Here we have magnets set up to repel each other. Magnetism is a force, isn't it? It looks like the skate carrying the load is traveling slower, and that makes sense. More mass means less velocity when the same force is applied. So, Newton's second law states that force is proportional to mass and acceleration. So the greater the mass, the slower an object will accelerate when the same force is applied. They're pushing against each other and move apart. That's an ISS battery and it looks heavy. That means it has a lot of mass, right? Once again, they're pushing against each other, but Alexander moves less. What we see this time is that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law of motion. Let's see what the schools are up to. Here we go. This is like Pedro and Alexander on board the station. We add another girl and they don't travel as far. 
Now you know about Newton's three laws of motion. Law 1 states that objects at rest or in motion stay that way unless a force acts on them. Law 2 says that the force is related to mass and acceleration. And Law 3 says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Inertia, magnitude, direction, balance, unbalanced forces.